Hi, everybody. Got your coffee? Okay. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope everybody had a good one. Um, oh, I guess I better do my intro first. It's Sandy Bacus here, and it's Saturday and November the 24th. Wow, can't believe that it's almost the end of November already. Hope everybody had a really good Thanksgiving. Um, Bob and I really didn't have any family to do anything with this year, so um, we went to Golden Corral, which is a buffet restaurant, and boy, was it packed. So there was a lot of other people that were going out to eat too. And um, so we had a pretty nice dinner and just kind of, I stitched a lot on Thanksgiving. So um, got a lot of stitching done. I have a lot of stuff to show you. And um, I didn't take, put any notes down. I'm kind of discombobulated. Um, I've been trying to do some cleaning. I've been trying to do some laundry. I've been trying to get Christmas stuff out. Um, did a little shopping yesterday. And so I'm just, I hope this video is okay. <laughs> and I hope I don't forget everything. Um, I didn't do any vlogs this week, so it's all going to be right now, right here, and if I forget anything, it'll have to go on the next one. Um, unless, like I did last week, and I remember something as soon as I'm done before I get it uploaded. So, um, let's get to it. All right, first, um, I... Let me say my thank yous. And I didn't, I have not gone through every single comment yet. I, I'm way behind on my email. I've got to get caught up because it's almost the end of the month and I've got to do the new budget for the new year, which means going through all my emails because that's how I get all my bills. Oh boy, I'm sadly behind. But I do have, I have read all the comments. Um, I just haven't gotten onto my computer and replied or, or hearted them. So these are the ones that I did get to, and I'm going to check these off as I go here so that um, I know I won't have to repeat these next week. But I'll pick up the rest of them next week. Okay, thank you to Angie, the Hibernation Stitcher, to the Crafty Whippet, to Gypsy Rose, to Pauline S., and Jo Marie Hogel. Those are the ones that I have had a chance to reply to and do the heart. So put a check mark by all of those. That's done. Now, um, the next thing, okay, just a moment. I'm going to have to pause you for just a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, all right, the next thing that I wanted to do, you know what? I think I'll show you the pictures and get that out of the way so I don't forget those. Everybody seems to be liking the pictures. And if you don't, just forward a little bit. Okay, what we're going to do now is we are going to go to, um, we're jumping ahead to 1978. Next Tuesday, I had to look at the calendar and see which day the 27th was. On November 27th, 1978, Bob and I got married. On that calendar year, it was the day after Thanksgiving, and we got married on that day in the mayor's office because we both had that day off. I worked a basically eight to five, five day a week, Monday through Friday job. He worked at the steel mill and so he worked what they called turns. So one week he was on days, the next week he was on nights, the next week he was on overnights, and then back to days again on the next week. And his days off rotated every turn schedule. So every three weeks, his days off would back up one day. So he very rarely ever got weekends off I had every weekend off. So we were trying to figure out, okay, we're getting married. We were already living together. 
but it was like, when are we going to be able to get married? So we both had that Friday after Thanksgiving off. We went to the mayor's office and we got married. We took Christy with us um, and she stood with us while um, we did our thing. And then afterwards, we went to my brother's house and because they were going to keep Christy for a couple of days um, and he was just going to take some time off a couple of days. So I think we only did one day. I think he had like Friday and Saturday off that particular week. And so we just went one overnight. And then later on, we did a uh, regular, almost like a honeymoon, but it, Niagara Falls for a couple of days. My sister-in-law snapped a picture of us that day when we came back. We had our coats on and everything, but here we are. On the day we got married, and leather coats were really big in the 70s, so we both had our leather coats, and what do you think of that? 40 years ago, this coming Tuesday. Hard to believe that it's been 40 years. <laughs> Unbelievable, but there we are. So, I wanted to show you that one. And then um, let's jump ahead now to 1980. And on, well, actually, um, I'm going to mention something that it was in 1979 first. On December 16th, 1979, my son was born. And this is March 30th, 1980. And he is three and a half months old in this picture. And look at, I'd gotten, whoops, I dropped it. Wait a minute, let me pick me up and come back. <laughs> um, as you can see, I had gotten my hair cut and it, I had it darker and curly. That was, those big perms were in then. And so there I am with my perm. And there is Mikey. That's what we called him when he was little. We called him Mikey. And so... And you might see a record player. Back then, we had record players. And funny thing, I noticed at uh, BAM, which is Books a Million, um, yesterday that um, they actually are selling vinyl again, and they have record players out there selling them. So I think people are kind of going back to the the roots of the, the vinyl, listening to the scratchy needle go around. I don't know, maybe it's better now, but. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna jump forward to 1982. This is on Christy's birthday. She was born August 19th, 1974. And as I said, this is August 19th, 1982. And this is me and her with her birthday cake. And as you can see, I now have a totally different hairdo. It's straight again, and but I was still skinny. <laughs> I, I didn't actually, I stayed pretty slim and trim until after I hit menopause. Menopause kind of did me in, and then I didn't, um, I, didn't I don't think I really gained that much weight. Um, what I did, a lot of it I took back off. Um, I was listening to Michelle Garrett um, on her stitch with me and talking about weight and how she's trying to do the keto thing for a while. And um, I could not give totally give up sugar. No, I've tried that. I read the books. I did the whole uh, Didn't last. It was killing me. I, I called myself the cookie monster for years, and there's a reason for that. But I, I try to watch because most of you know I'm 69. It, you, it's hard to lose weight when you get up into your 60s. But um, I, uh, I would say that at my top weight, um, I weighed 187 pounds. Um, I was five foot nine for most of my life. So being as tall as I was, I could carry weight pretty good. Um, but uh, at 187 pounds, I didn't feel good. I felt 
fat. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about, but you either are comfortable in your skin or you're uncomfortable in your skin. And at 187, I was uncomfortable in my skin. So I uh, went on a diet, basically tried to uh, cut carbs and things like that. And I got down um, to, I think at one point I got down to as low as 158 pounds then. But then it just started kind of creeping back up on me. And then one day I realized I was back up to 177, 178. And I thought, no, that's too heavy. And that was just in the last couple of years. And so I went low carb again. And I was also needing to watch my sugar because my sugar numbers had gone up into the sixes. And um, if you know anything about A1C, you'll know that going up into the sixes is headed in the wrong direction. And I think my highest was 6.5. And so um, I did the low carb thing again, and I got down to um, about 168 or so. And I have shrunk a little bit. Um, I think they tell me that when they measure me at the doctor, sometimes I'm like five, seven and a half. So because I have the scoliosis and then, of course, the osteopenia and your, you know, gravity, your spine just kind of comes down. So I have lost a little bit in height. But um, right now I run. I think when I weighed myself this week, I was 167. Um, so. And I feel comfortable at this weight. So I'm not going to worry about it. I, I, My clothes fit me okay. I do have a little bit of weight around the middle, but that's because of my age and because I haven't been exercising. Um, so, But I'm not going to worry about it. I can wear a size large sweater or top of any kind, and I wear size 12 jeans. So as long as I can comfortably fit into size 12 jeans and I can fit comfortably into a large top, I'm happy with that and I'm comfortable. And I think that's the most important thing. So I'm not going to worry about it. I watch. I've, I'm, I don't um, just eat anything I want. I'm, I'm careful. So, okay, let's leave that behind. I don't know how I got off on that. But anyways, um, let's see. Oh, I did a thing. Remember on my last video, I was talking about hates? And I wrote it down here somewhere, and I don't know where now, but it's here somewhere. But while I'm looking for it, I'm going to talk. But anyways, I went on the Hade website, and I had gone on there one day and looked, and I saw some stuff and wrote down a couple of the designers that I kind of liked. And, um, well, I don't know what I did with that piece of paper now, so maybe I'll just have to remember uh, what it was. I should be able to do that. But anyways, um, I looked at some stuff. I'm not into the fantasy. I'm not into the fairies. I'm not into ladies. Uh, I um, None of that stuff really um, do I like. But I like scenery. I like color. I like flowers. And I like architecture. So I narrowed it down. Then I showed them to Bob. And then when I was on there on, um, say yes, no, Thanksgiving Day, I was on there and they had everything on sale. I thought, oh, perfect timing. And I wanted to get the hard copy, the large format. Because um, I didn't want to trust my printer to print all that stuff off. So what I did was I ordered three Hades. <laughs> I could not. I could not make a decision. I could not pick one. So I ordered three. And that's a piece of paper that I wrote down, what it was I ordered that I can't find here in all my mess. And believe me, this is a mess. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to remember now. I got minis. No way am I going to try to do a full size aid, especially not three of them. I got mini mount cabin. Um, it's a porch um, with mountains in the background. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, 
mini Victorian garden. All the flowers were just so beautiful and it, the Victorian one had a Victorian mansion in the background and just, oh. And I also ordered mini Japan garden, I think was the name of it. And that one, it was the colors that just pulled me in. It had some Japanese buildings in the background and I'm not really crazy about Japanese architecture, but it was the flowers, the purples and the pinks. and It just pulled me in, so I ordered three. <laughs> so those will be coming. Um, and I did, a, oh, so much stitching, so much stitching. Um, and I, I trying to think if there's anything else that I need to talk about before I get into the stitching. Oh, let me tell you about my shopping. Um, yesterday, uh, Miranda was home from college and she had let me know a couple weeks ago that her laptop that I had bought her, uh, when she started college had kind of taken a dump. First the lighting went and then everything on it just started messing up. And she really needs a laptop for school. So um, they, I mean, they have computers there in different places where you can go and use them, but you you have to save everything to a flash drive. You can't save anything on your your computer. And so right now what she's trying to do is she's trying to save all of her papers and everything, send them to her email uh, so that she won't lose everything before this thing totally dies. I mean, she can, it's limping along. So I had told her that when she comes home for a uh, break that I would take her and um, we'd get another one. So we went to Best Buy and um, we looked at them and um, previously I had gotten her a Dell and um, the Dells that they had were really high priced. And so her friend at college had told her um, he's kind of understands some of the stuff about computers a lot. So he had told her that the ones to look at would be either Dell, Lenovo, um, HP, or if she couldn't find anything there, then Asus. So like I said, the Dells were really high priced that they had, and we wanted to get something that they had right now in stock. So we went over and we looked and there was a nice HP, but it was a touch screen and she didn't want a touch screen. So we found a really nice Lenovo for like $400. So I said, the guy asked me, he says, well, how much are you willing to spend? And I said, I don't want to go over 500. So he said, well, this one's pretty good. He said, for it, it, what kind of software? are you going to run? He asked Miranda and Miranda told him and he said, oh, well, this will be fine then. He says, if you're not running any big time software, then, um, you know, or big software, he said, this, this one will be fine. He said, if I had to put it in a category of good, better, best, he said, this one would be good. And he says, for what you're talking about using it for college work, um, he says, you're not talking about doing a lot of gaming or anything like that. He says, this should be fine. So, and I told her, I says, if it can get you through, finish out your senior year, get you through two years of grad school, and I says, then you get a job, and while you're pursuing your doctorate, you'll be working, you can buy your own computer the next time. <laughs> so, um, we got her set up, so she got that, and we, I bought her some antivirus to put on it, and um, so she is, uh, she is set up to go. And um, we also went to uh, BAM, which is Books a Million. I don't know if they have those uh, where you're at. Um, I think that store used to be like Barnes & Noble or, oh, I can't remember what the name of the other bookstore was, but all of those closed around here. And this BAM came in. And... Um, so I bought a couple of books and I bought a mug and she bought a couple of books. And um, then we went to Joann's and dummy me, I thought that the floss was on sale yesterday. I didn't look at the ad really well. So I bought a ton of floss. My nose is kind of drippy here, sorry. 
um, bought a ton of floss and some yarn and um, oh, I don't know something else but I can't remember what it was right now it wasn't important uh, then I found out the floss was all 56 cents so I thought well you know what are you gonna do dummy me so I took a chance to, I looked at the ad and I saw that it's on sale today so I called Joann's this morning and I said explain to them and the lady says well we usually don't honor sale prices on prior sales but she says let me ask the manager so she came back and she said okay he said that if you bring all the floss back we'll return it all and then resell it to you at the sale price and I said yes <laughs> so um Bob and I are going to go out a little bit later um, we're going to get some lunch out and we're going to go to Joann's and do that and I don't know maybe I might even go back and buy some more I think I bought 56 skeins yesterday I really didn't know what I needed so I just bought a bunch of floss I, I figured you know hey if if I die before it gets used up Whoever gets my stuff will be set for a while, maybe. Um, but the way I'm stitching, I may just use it all. Um, but anyways, and we're going to go to Fin Feather Fur because there was some Black Friday sale stuff that Bob wanted. And I guess it's on sale for the whole weekend. And he went there yesterday, but he said it was too crowded. He does not like crowds, so he wants to go back today. So um, that's our plan for today. So... Um, let me get to showing you that stitching. All right. I stitched on a lot of things this week. Okay, first thing that I stitched on was Sweet Land of Liberty. Pull this one out. And Prior to this, I had this section up here, all of the red motif and then this over here done. So what I did this week was all of this, this one here, this one down here, and my initials, and then started in on this one. So I think that was quite a bit that I got completed this week. And I love these colors. This is 14 count coffee tea dyed Ada that I dyed and the uh the colors on this are uh the uh gentle arts and they're cherry wine black raspberry black raspberry jam and toffee and i don't usually use um the fancy floss so to speak uh, but it's it's those colors are stunning I don't know how well that comes through on the uh, computer but they are just stunning but I'm not gonna get off on using a bunch of uh, fancy floss because I just I'm just not okay the next thing I worked on was the chart that I'm doing as my anniversary sampler or not sampler but my anniversary um, design and it is Barbara Anna's Love Never Fails and as long as I get this done sometime in the next year I will be happy because I've not done much on it so I pulled that out and I will be keeping this one out for the coming week and working on it since it's the week of my anniversary. And I will show you where I got to on this one. And just a moment, as soon as I get this folded around here, I even ironed everything for you guys today. I'm just right on the ball. Oh, just one moment. I have these alarms on my phone to remind Bob to take his pills and that we put on his patch. And I think he did take his pills this morning because I checked, but he just left and he didn't have his patch on. So I'm going to have to remember when he comes home that 
<laughs> we need to put the patch on. Okay, here we go. Love never fails. Um, there we go. That's what I've gotten done. Um, prior to this, I had done these flowers, but I didn't have the curly cue on the bottom down here. And I had done this and this and a little bit of the back of the bird here. So this time I filled in all of this of the bird, went over here and started on her hair and did just a little bit right down there. So as I said, I will work on this again this week. So you'll see this one again next week. Okay, this one I'm going to put over here to the side for a moment. And last week I told you I was going to pull out Bayside Cottage and start uh, finishing up the back stitch. Now, a lot of this back stitch I did while I was stitching it. Oh, and I didn't tell you. The fabric for Love Never Fails is 14 count heroic Ada. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Okay. So... Bayside Cottage is a Dimensions Petites kit, and all the cross stitches had been done, and I just need to finish back stitch. So I didn't show it last week, so I thought I'd show it this week. I did do a little bit more of the back stitch on this. Um, mostly I have to go in here and finish these rails, and there is back stitching in around these flowers. The back stitching up here is done. It's done up here. The birds are done. All of the stuff out in here is done. And so it's just in this area right here where am I pointing with my finger. So um, I'll work on that a little by little and um, give myself a goal of getting this all back stitched by, oh, let's say by Christmas. I should be able to do that if I work at it. You know how long it took me to get the back stitching done on Scarecrow, don't you? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay, now, I did a ton on Shades of Summer. It just was calling my name, so I just kept working on it and working on it. So here is Shades of Summer. Shades of Summer is by Artisy. This is a complete full coverage. This is just like doing a hade. It's artisy, but it's just, it's the same thing as doing a hade because it's 300 by 234. So there it is. And I, when I showed it to you last, I was trying to get a page finish on that one. And for all intents and purposes, there is. There's a couple of edge stitches that I decided to wait to do till I go to the, the page next to it. But um, first I will show you, because this is hard to handle. First I will show you, this is the page I was working on. So I had some fill in to do down here and I did that. And there's just a couple of stitches missing right up along here. And there's a couple right here at the bottom that I decided I'd just wait on those till I get to this page because the page overlaps three rows and three rows in this way. So I thought I'd pick those up the next time. Then where I went to from there, and I'll show you the whole thing here in a minute. Where I went to from there was I went to this page up here and I had just started this page, just had a little bit of this done in here. So I did all of this. And that was a lot of stitching. But this is not so confetti heavy. Um, there's multiples. So I could actually fill in. There are There's a, some one here and one there. But it's not like that last page. All right, now here we go. Here's the whole thing. I'm going to fold it this way so it has the back on it so the lights. I'm not showing the whole thing there. Pull it up just a little bit more so you can see the whole thing. 
I'm not a very good uh, displayer, am I? <laughs> okay, is it straight? There we go. When you got these big ones, they're kind of hard to show. But there we are. I love this thing. I just, I love it. And this part right here, if I hold the whole thing up, that's floss right in the middle. That is the middle of the, the whole thing. If I hold it way out here, that's the middle. So you can see how much more I have to go. I think this has like 24 pages. And this going across, well, let's see if I can do this. Going across the top here, there's another page after this page. So there's this page and then one more. And then, and it's going to be, I think there's lots of pages, 24 pages. I think that when you get all the way across the top, that's page six. So I already did seven down below. So it's a lot of pages. Okay, now, summer house. You guys know this was my focus to finish by the end of the month. All the cross stitches are done. There is no back stitching, but there is crining. There are little spots throughout this whole entire thing and up around the chimney and the clouds up there. There are like one stitch of crinic spread throughout. So I have the crinic. That's my next step. I finished up this this morning. And so I will move on now to that crinic. I have never used crinic before. I hope it's not as terrible as what I hear everybody say it is. <laughs> well, we'll see. Since it's only one stitch at a time and spread throughout, it shouldn't be that bad. I, I didn't count how many stitches it is, but um, we we should be able to handle it. I'm just going to put something behind this because it is. I noticed that I could see the shadow of my thumb there. There we go. So this will be finished. I will get that critic in before the end of the month. That was my goal. Get it done before the end of the month, and I will. I'm very confident that I will. So that was all I worked on. So um, what I did was I thought, well, okay, I took Sweet Land of Liberty out this week. And so I thought, okay, I'll look to see. I'll spin my wheel and see what it's going to tell me to put in this week. And it came up new start. So then I spun my new start wheel to see what was going to be my new start and I don't think that I brought it down here no but it's Coffee Quaker I think most of you are familiar with Coffee Quaker so um next week you'll get to see what I got accomplished on that but as I said I'm going to be finishing up Summer House um, I want to put more stitches into Shades of Summer, more stitches into Love Never Fails, and put some stitches, some back stitches into uh, Bayside Cottage. So that's my plan for the next week. Um, I'm also trying to get all my Christmas decorations out and figure out, usually I have all my cross stitching boxes and all my stuff spread all over here um, on a, like a, coffee table and an end table here. Um, my home is set up for my comfort, my ease. I very rarely have company, so I put stuff where, and for cats. <laughs> so I put stuff where it's convenient for me to get to. Well, I want to put Christmas out, so I'm going to have to start storing this stuff upstairs, and then when I want it, I'm going to have to go up there and get it. So um, my stitching may be slowed down this next week because of that. We'll see. All right. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. Um, I... 
don't have any um, updates on any relatives that are battling cancer right now. Um, but uh, I should see Lori here in the next week. She, um, I had a uh, humidifier that um, I told her she could use. So um, she's never used humidifiers before, and she's been having a lot of trouble. So um, I told her, come on over and pick this one up, because I had four, and we usually only use three. So um, she'll be coming to get that. She had family in from out of state, six family members. So um, staying between her house and her mom's house. So um, I'm not sure just when they're going home, whether it's this weekend or, or when, but uh, then she'll probably come over and pick that up. So other than that, um, just kind of uh, going to do the store thing today and then um, get some lunch and then I'm going to have to come home and get Christmas going. I got to get on the ball. I pulled it all out of the closet, well, most of it, and spread it all over the spare bedroom. Now I just got to do it. And um, I think I told you guys that we got Bob a lift chair. Yeah, I did. And it arrived on Tuesday. And, oh, he's he loves it. It's working out really, really well for him. And so I guess that's it. I'm just a rambling on. So um, thank you for stopping in and visiting with me. Um, if you're new, uh, I hope that you would hit the subscribe button and I hope people will hit the like button, and I hope that you'll leave me a comment. Just say hi. You don't even have to mention anything in my video. Just say, hi, Sandy, how you doing? Um, I do that sometimes when I comment. And um, so I'm going to try to get myself together this week so that I don't, oh, if you could see my desk. <laughs> Nobody wants to see this mess. It's just, whoa, I got to clean up. So, and my craft room is the same way. I got floss everywhere. I got mess, 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 mess. I got to get on the ball. So, um, everybody take care. Uh, send a, hugs out to everybody. Love out to everybody. If you need a prayer, let me know. I'll pray for you. Um, and I am going to leave it there and say, see you next week. Bye, all.